Hello everyone. 你好，我是蒋老师。Today we are going to learn lesson fifty-one, Little Root Characters Two. If you have learned Little Root Characters One, you should know root characters are single characters. They are different with radicals. They can't be split. Each of them is a whole because they evolved from ancient picture. I have found out more than a hundred little root characters, and these little characters formed most of the Chinese characters. It means if you know this. One hundred plus little root characters. You can write most of the Chinese characters easily. Now look at these five characters to help you to understand little root characters. Mu. Last lesson we have learned mu, and this one ko. They are. Little root characters. How they to make up other characters? Look, move wood, two move woods, three move forest, and one person and one move form a new character. Shoe is mean rest. And this, we have no this in April caught one moon and one cow wood and moss. So you know, moon, 人 and cow, moon, 人 cow, they are root characters. Okay, now let's begin. First, what's this? 人 people person two strokes. Its original picture is this. One person stand on side and stand straight hanging on. Later change it to this shape. These two hands two hands pick up something from trees or walking on the. Field. It's later change it to this. This is lens. From picture change it to lens. Finally change it to this modern character. 人 to stroke. Almost all of the Chinese characters they evolved from picture to lens. Finally to stroke. 人 original mean human mankind is to distinguished from animals. Modern 人 mean person people person itself. When 人 as a radical, it is written as this, this like this. Shoe. Second, this one, 十呃蛇，蛇 is tongue. Its first picture, you can see this is mouth. This is like snake tongue because snake always like stick out. Its tongue, its tongue is a fork, like a fork. This is snake. Tongue and the mouth. Later, change it to this. This more like a people's tongue. Tongue and the mouth connect together. And then change it to this shape. Add one line here and change this mouth to quadrant. Then change it to this shape. The mouth change it to shape. And the upper side change it to like a modern character. 
Finally, she need to modern tongue made up of strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six strokes. Its original meaning is tongue, the, the organ tongue. Later, it's turned it to mean something like a tongue, such as your head tongue. Here, head tongue. And uh, change it to mean speech. So, most characters with she refers to various movements with tongue. The third, this one. Pronunciation is e i yan yan is words speech. Look here, this signal mean is pointing character. Without this, they are pictographs. Because Ren and the she, Ren person and your tongue, they have images. This Yan, you talk, it has no image. It indicates you are talking or your speech. So it's pointing characters. Look, it's amazing shape. Like this she mouth not change, but the tongue change. The line put upside. So yan derived from she. Later change to this. Add a line outside this. Then change to this. One line here, two line. Later, more land, four land, and the, the moss change to sharp. The land mean the spittles. When you talk, you spray spittles, waters, waters. Finally, change to this modern character, yang, e i yang. Its original meaning is speaking. Later, extend it to the words you said or written. When yan used as left side radical, it written like this, yan. When you see this radical, you know it equals yan, okay? Now, the <laughs> simplest character. E, 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 E is one. Its shape almost have no change. Look. E mean a number, one. The smallest unit integer or the smallest positive integer. And E is a stroke. This one is one strokes and the one is a character. Y is a num is a number, is a stroke and a character. Originally, it means the smallest positive integer. Then, mean the same and the whole is set. This one, shi yi shi. Look. E and the shi, they are pointing character because e and the shi, shi is ten, they have no images. Shi is original shape is this, a horizontal and a very little line. Because in ancient people count numbers, they use rope. They Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then count to ten. They make a knot. This is a knot. So a rope has a knot, mean ten. Later change it to this more thick, thicker, because ten is bigger than single number. Finally, little lamb. 
change it to longer. It's more than character 十 mean 10. Now it also means complete and perfect. Then we learn this one. This is 念念念 mean 20. Its uh, original shape is this, like a two, two rope connected together. Later, change it to this, like a two ten connected together. Then, change it to this, finally, modern character. So, two ten together is 20, means 20, easy. This one pronounced 特意安全, 特意安全. What's it? You look at this shape, you know it's mean field or the land. First, this shape. Later, change it to simple, fewer land. Finally, modern character. Originally mean land and the field. Then, Extended to cultivation, hunting, mainly meaning farming. So when you meet characters with Qian, you know they are related with farming or land. Okay? This one pronounced is Le Yi Li. Li, li is strokes. Its first shape is this one. This is ancient plow. Later, change it to this. Finally, change it to this shape. This modern character, Li. Li. Li is originally mean is farming tool. Then extended to refer the ability power because you Plow, you use plow, you need to do it with strength. Plow with great strength. Go on, this one. Pronounce E O U. U is again. It's shape like right hand. You look this one. Middle, three fingers, and with this arm. This means right hand, you. Its original meaning is right hand or right direction. Then, you is borrowed as adverb. Extended to refer to, again, repetition, continuation, but, and, etc. Then, the original meaning, right direction, keep use this one, you, E-O-U, is more than right, you. So, when you meet characters with this you, you should know they are related with hand. We go on to this one. Ci wen cun. Ci wen cun. Cun. This signal means it's pointing character. Cun is inch. You can compare its shape with you. You can see its shape is at the horizontal at the bottom. You look. Each at one horizontal at the bottom of you. Its original meaning is the one inch part from the palm to the wrist. Here, from here to here is two inch. Then extend it to mean the length unit of 10 inch because 
Turn is a small length unit. So later refer to describe extremely small and or short. Now the last one. This pronounce is er er er. What's er? Ear. You look this shape. This its shape resembles the outer ear of human being. This letter change it to this, plus the inner, then change it to this. Finally, modern character ear, er. Originally, it means the hearing organ ear, then extended to refer to things like ear, because ears are either sight or mouth height. So later it refer to on the side. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Today we learned eleven little root characters. Now we try to use them to form other Characters. Look, this Ren, when it as a radical written as this, this, and this Shi together Shi 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 mean assorted and Shi Yu Yan Yan when it as Radical right, written as this, this, and the she, yan, and the she together. He hua, words, words, and the yan, radical yan, and the ten together. Ji ji, mean count or plan. This Ren, Ren and this you together, Ji Yin Ji mean only or just. And this Nian and this Y in the middle from this new character, Ge An Gan mean sweet. And this Ren with this Tian together is De Yi An Dian, mean rent. Tian and Li together mean Ne An Nan, mine, English mine. And this Yu and this Li together form Qi Wu An Quan. Quan is mean persuade. Then is you and this turn together is the we do do mean right. Finally, this er and this you the form chi chu chu mean fetch or get. Now we have learned twenty one little root characters. You can try to use them to form other new characters. Okay? See you! 再见!